Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So last time we got in our small radiology department just down here and we also got in our first medical laboratory. So what I'd like to do is start working on our next objective which is to open a clinic at a specialised department. As soon as we do this we then unlock emergency hospitalisation also. So I thought we could go up here and I think I am going to go general surgery. It's probably the department that gets you the most money out of these. You know, like it's, it's a very popular department. And I do think it will get us the most money to expand our hospital and get the other departments in. So, we're going to say these two rooms here for medical laboratories. So let's go and get some walls out over on, on this side of the hospital. So, we're going to go general surgery, which to me, it's blue. It needs to be blue. And then, what's this? Top, stripes and bottom. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that will do. Bring that down there. We'll get brick across that part there. Right, so let's get rid of that wall. And I know that's sort of two colours, but we need to think about space. So let's just focus at the moment on getting out our doctor's offices. Let's go to general surgery. So we need a waiting room, general surgery office, probably a good idea to get a reception and probably a good idea to get a restroom, common room and cleaning closet. So we need to do this, we need to do this so it looks nice but save some money. So let's think about how many doctor's offices we want. To save some space let's just have them four by four. So how many can I get in here? Can I get in... Well, let's do that and then we can have this here is a waiting area and reception and then we can start going out here want to build some more foundations for the other rooms so if we get in what's our wall that we're using here it's that one in green so if we say that, that is the end of the clinical or medical laboratories whatever you'd like to call them and then probably there as well, because that would probably also go and go into the general surgery department. So then our floor here, we're going to need that stripe going around the outside, with that one in the middle. Then medical labs, this is going to be waiting room, all of that. And then obviously there you've got the histology lab and the microbiology lab. Right, and then that's going to walls we're going to need that one to come down from there and that's also going to be the general surgery have i mixed walls up already it's that one isn't it it's this one okay and then we're going to want to come in um and then have like reception here if i do something like that and then, like I said, you just go into the other, the other rooms. So, doors, let's get in some doors of windows for our offices. Get those like that. And then a double door going into there. Uh, I might be able to get another door like there. Then, here we're going to have general surgery, reception, like something like there. And then the rest will be the waiting room. And obviously you can need a door to go into there. Do I want green stripes? Yeah, going into. Um, so for reception, we're going to need this. But if we have it coming off of that wall there, we'll just get it to be pretty small. Something like that. Office chair. We'll get a laptop. Oh, they are so much more expensive though, aren't they? So let's get a PC. We'll get a nice big printer. Oh no, apparently can't get that. Can't be attached to this type of object. Could get a small, oh, we can get a small printer. Let's get a small printer. Um, that could actually be heavily reduced in size. Let's get something like that. And for the waiting room, we could go coffee vending machine, normal vending machine. 
Okay, it's out some info TVs with our Q machines. We'll just get one. And then just need some chairs. Go some chairs down there. And then maybe a fancy chair with plant next to it. Let's go for that one. We'll get a plant next to there. Um, and we'll get out some posters. Heart, liver. I suppose these are more kind of internal medicine, aren't they? But I don't really care. We're just going with it. Info board. Get that above there. And then a clock. We'll have a reception. There. Do you want a table? No. I think that's plenty. So floor wise, what could we do with floors? We could just go with wood. I don't know if I like that. Do I like that? It does actually look quite nice. And then we'll go like lino linoleum, a bit of Lionel Richie, out in these areas. Right, so doctor's offices. They're gonna be here, general surgery office. Like that, please. And then we need to kit those out. So let's do exam tables first, because that's sort of the biggest bit of equipment. So let's go, you can go there. You can go, let's get you like there. And then you can go there, just to make every room look a little bit different. Then we need the office desks, and we'll go for the cheap ones for the moment. You can go there. Then we're going to need an office chair. There, there, and there. No, oh, you don't like it. No liking. You go in there. Then we're going to need some PCs. We'll do PCs because the laptops are so expensive. Can we get the large printers? Let's get one large printer, and then the rest. You can have a smaller printer, you can have a paper holder. Um, disinfectant, we'll get that in with a bin underneath. Let's go red, red, yellow. Then you're going to need the mobile equipment cabinet. So get some of these in. Like that. Medical light for the bed. There. And then an eye test. Where can we get eye test? Eye test there. And there. Then we'll try and get in some chairs if we can. You can't. Why can you not go there? I don't know why it's saying you can't go there. You can go there and there. And then, oh god, we need an audio meter and a CRP scan in these rooms as well. Can we put them on? Cabinet doors cannot be placed here. Can be placed, but will block another object. I don't know what that's blocking. I don't think I'll put anything there. Okay, we'll, we'll go there for that and that. That's that room done. Here, we'll have to go this wall. Again, what's blocking? Oh, the bin. Let's do that and we'll turn. Can I get the bin? Okay, you go away. Turn the bin. Get the disinfectant back in, and then what are you missing? Ah, yeah, the actual equipment. Audio meter, CRP scan. That's another room done. This one, one there. Hmm. Let's turn you around like that, and then could we get another one in there? Yes. CRP scan. Audio meter, so they're pretty busy rooms, but I think that looks quite cool that they're busy. We'll get some checkered floors in here. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Right, windows. Let's go for the window with blinds or the tall. Let's go for tall. I quite like the tall windows. Let's go there, try and get one in every room, get one in there as well. Then we'll get one there, then we'll get some more once we expand out. Okay, so that's our clinic. Obviously we need to do stuff for it to be unlocked. But let's also think about, let's copy that. We'll copy the 
toilet and the cleaning closet. That will go uh, there like that. We'll get in our blue walls for our operating department and then we should just say to the rooms that these are not medical laboratory rooms these are actually for the general surgery department so restroom and where's cleaning closet there you go and then for the hallway hmm what does that look like with a line i don't know if i like that I do quite like, I just think this looks very hospitally. We get that going down to there. So we don't do the whole thing. We'll get that out for the moment. We can change it up if we need to. Staff. Let's get two cleaners in. One for the night shift, one for the day shift. Let's get you and we'll get you at night. Doctors. We need to get a, a chief doctor for our emergency department. So chief doctor. We obviously went pretty cheap with our doctors, but this counts to be Frank Wright. He's definitely the best man for the job. And we don't have chiefs for those guys, do we? So let's get one expensive doctor, so we can get in someone like. Oh, um, we probably want someone with advanced diagnosis more. So the highest one here is Joseph Baker. He's actually one of the cheapest as well. So let's get in Joseph Baker. You're going to be our chief. And we'll get someone in that's a bit cheaper. So let's go... Hmm. You're the cheapest. It's going to be you, Elizabeth Adams. You're actually still pretty good though. So let's get two dollars for the moment. No, we can change. You know, we can get more if we need more. Receptionist. What's this? Um, dirty feet. Fresh parent. So you're not great. You actually use your free time to study. So let's get in Barbara Smith. Okay. Did that give? Did that give us? I don't think they give us money. Do oh, we can now do this one though. Why are you yellow? I don't know why that's yellow. Um, not sure, don't know. Okay, but that's yellow. Um, increase patients per day to 15 if we treat 15. If, when we enable hospitalization at emergency, we then get the intensive care unit. And as soon as we treat one patient per day in our new general surgery department, we actually unlock hospitalization for general surgery. So that's great. And we've done that with quite a bit of money left over. It's when you start doing the things like the um, operating rooms all that kind of stuff when you start doing that the money just it just floats away it just floats away while we wait to get our first patient treated in our specialized department I'd like to earn a little bit more money before we go down the route of hospitalization and emergency let's do a bit of doctor mode if we go into here we want to control is anyone up here no so let's control emergency doctors Let's do all three of them. And then we'll go on. Let's try it on um, specialist mode. So Patricia Wilson is looking after Casey Brown. Okay, so you've got definitely something wrong with your foot. So it's I've won a low, so you definitely need a x-ray. Oh, you haven't that done at the moment. Where are you? You're waiting to go into the x-ray, are you? Okay, so we'll come back to you. Um, you're fulfilling your needs. So let's have a look at what's wrong. I'm gonna go for leg. I'm gonna go for leg. Foot, no, wrong, like normal. You have some numbing ointment, please. You should try and treat 15 patients today. Patricia Wilson, yeah, so he's going through the treatment for Casey Brown. Um, procedures are finished. So now we can say that you can please go home. Another one bites the dust, two away from treating 15 patients, but there's actually no one here. Um, yeah, no one's upstairs either. So going through a little bit of a quiet spell. 
Okay, brand new day. No one else came to see us yesterday, so we did only treat the 13 patients. But what I thought we could do is we could at least start to build out our hospitalization for emergency. So let's go foundations. I'd like to keep. Oh, actually, no. We have to delete those windows, aren't we? So we come out here, something like there. Um, and then we'll come across down to somewhere like there, I think. That's pretty big. And if we delete those walls just there. We'll kind of got emergency has to be red, guys, doesn't it? Has to be red. Come down there and we'll get this brick wall going up like so. We will get rid of those two windows. So we need some doors for our ambulances. So let's get sliding doors in there. And we want that to be as close to the trauma center as possible. So let's say, or we could have it all open planned. That would be quite cool. We could do that actually, couldn't we? What wall is this? This is that one, I think. I think it's that. And then we'll get that coming down there. Also, red there for emergency. So we could have open planned, which I thought could be quite cool. Um, floor. What do we do for floor? Um, we could do light, like pink. Then change it up when necessary. Get that in there. That's a lot of pink, isn't it? But if we then say, I mean, those, you can still delete that bit. No, you can delete the bloody whole thing. Um, I assume that was a corridor here. And then that would also have been a corridor. Okay. So let's say that our trauma center is going to be right here. No, let's go eight by 10 with a back wall of pure red to mask the blood. And then we'll get a double door here to come in and we'll get another one there. right so trauma center that could go for the pink line like that for that in the middle right so trauma center so let's get in we'll probably get in enough for like one in the first instance what way do you go that way I think and then we'll get a wall coming down there. I want these to be quite large. I want these pretty small, but I want these to be quite large. And we'll get a medical light. Um, so this stuff is like general trauma center, isn't it? So if I go for a wall down there, then we get these things, like the equipment cabinets up against the wall there. Let's do that. Need a mobile workstation, digital imaging, it's gonna be so expensive. Get that there. Defibrillator on the wall, that's general. Bin will be general. Duh. I'll put the wrong way around, guys. What an idiot. Well, let's turn. Why can't I? All right, light go away. We'll turn that round. Medical light. Um, An anesthesia workstation there. Do we need disinfectant? We can get that per bay. Get a bin per bay as well. Then a whiteboard. I don't need a whiteboard, do we? And then let's get in a normal cabinet. Well, let's get two of them. Don't get the fast UCG. Cool, so that's our like first little bay. I think we will just get one at the moment because that's now functional. Um, so how one, so your five wide. So that is enough for another one. Now I'd like to get in some watch windows. 
like that. How's that look? Oh yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, you need to be a different wall though. Let's ignore that. Awesome. So that's our trauma center. So what we need to do the observation room, nurse station, on call room. So I thought what we could do is the trauma center will probably go all the way up there and on this wall if we need to extend it. So let's go over here and we're gonna go with the on call room there, nurse station there. Let's get stuff in first, I think. So let's go for office desk and we'll go something like that. Get in some chairs and then some PCs. Let's just get two. We'll try and get two for the moment. Get a bookcase. We'll get some cabinets back here. Um, can we get the wall mounted? like that we can get the tv um and a card file now for the nurses oh what were we missing ah ah that and we'll get a large printer for you nurses station let's go for some more desks like that We'll get some more chairs. We'll get two PCs. Um, you need the equipment cabinet. Get some scrubs on the wall. That'll look quite cool. You need a meal tray. Two of them. And we'll get some stretches kind of um, just around the place. Like that. I want the floor to be different there, but I don't know how. Maybe we'll go to some wood. You like some kind of fence, don't we? Because they have got the fence, but I think it's only for outside. Got the glass fence, who's that inside? And we placed outdoors. That is very annoying. What could we use? I mean, it is going to have to be a wall if we want to go down that route. Which I don't really want to do. Okay, well, that will have to just be um, separate. We could go there. And do something like that. If we get out the floor again. And we'll just see that they're a little bit bigger. So on call room goes down to there. Nurse station goes down to there. Something like that. But then get in windows. Um, tall glass. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think that looks cool. Doors to the toilet can actually stay there. That's actually quite a good idea. We are going to have to extend out over here. It's not very big. Especially that we have to get the observation room in. Um, so let's go. Observation room is going to be pretty much all of this. Um, you extended, thank you. Right, so observation room. So again, we're going to need some walls. Let's go up to there. How many beds could we get? If we've done that, it'd be like there. Life monitor. What else do you need? Bed socket. Do you, I don't think you need a medical light, do you? And then again, let's go defib over there. Okay, equipment cabinet. And then we'll get the bin over there. You need workstation, which makes sense. Get a whiteboard, that's pretty cool. And then you need CRP scan. 
and audio meter, audio meter, CRP scan, and the bedside cabinets. So that wall is going to have to come to there, which means we only have a one gap, which I don't really like. We'll have to deal with it for the moment. I think we can always get rid of that wall if we need to there. And then I wanted to get in some like coffee tables and like little like, guest areas. Oh, but I haven't got enough room for that one. This needs to be bigger, doesn't it? If we go build foundations and we'll go all the way out, get in our walls like. Uh, what we'll do, we'll get rid of that wall there. And can I move move a room or selected area? We're going to move that to there. Then we're going to get rid of that wall, like so. Then this room can be massively expanded move all of this jazz up there whiteboard workstation that can stay there then we'll get all of that to be the same but then if we're going to keep it that color then we need you to come out one more uh, then we've gone to prefabs move that to there get rid of that wall and then we can get our coffee table all that for a coffee table. Crazy, crazy. Let's go flower. Oh, and this one will get a lamp. And we need some chairs. Where do I find chairs? In here? Fancy chair. Let's go there, right next to the toilet. Absolutely lovely. And there, uh, extend that wall down. And again, I was thinking about getting some watch windows in. Just, just one or two. Extend there, and we'll get a window in there. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get in there. So, I'm gonna leave this episode here today, guys. Please let me know any feedback, comments down below, and I'll see you again next time. Okay, see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.